change of level. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Father, this morning we are before you, grateful for the privilege we have to be in your presence. Thank you because we know that blessed is the one you choose and cause to approach you, to be filled with the goodness of your house. Therefore, this morning, speak to us. By your word, Lord, and grace and empower us. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believe, say loud, amen. amen. Give Jesus a big hand and please, you may be seated in his presence. It is my new dawn era. We have been looking in our morning read prayer sessions at the line of exhortation entitled, The Prayer of Faith is the Prayer That Works. The Prayer of Faith is the Prayer That Works. James chapter 1 verse 6 and 7, to reiterate again, the Bible says to us there, it said, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers is like the wave of the sea. He said, let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Without faith, every prayer investment is in futility. It is faith that gives value to prayer. Let us establish the fact that the birth of multitudes in the kingdom demands the altar of prayer. But the altar of prayer only delivers by faith. The birth of multitudes in the kingdom demands the altar of prayer. But only faith can cause prayer to deliver. The Bible makes us to understand in the book of Isaiah chapter 66 verse 7 and verse 8, he said, before her pain came, she was delivered of a man child. Who has heard such things? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in a day? Or shall a nation be born at once? He said, for as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. So it takes the travail of prayer to bring about the birth of multitudes. Souls are born in prayer, but it is only faith that gives prayer the delivery push. It takes the force of faith for prayer to deliver. It's not enough to enter into the labor room for a pregnant woman. She needs a delivery push. It is faith that turns the labor room into the delivery suit because it brings about a delivery push for every subject of prayer. Shout hallelujah. And this is why the Bible makes us understand, it says, let not that man think that he will receive anything of the Lord. So the force of faith, therefore, is a non-negotiable factor on the altar of prayer. We look at the example of the book of Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52, and we find Jesus there being encountered by the man referred to as blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bartimaeus was told after hearing commotion that Jesus was passing by and he began to cry, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. The people rebuked him, but he cried yet the louder. After all the cry, Jesus called him. What is it that you want? He said that I may receive my sight. But the conclusion or the answer of the prayer was, according to your faith, be it unto you. So the volume of your cry is not what determines the outcome of your cry. It is the connection of your faith that determines the outcome of your cry. It is possible to pray very well when you look at sound presentation of prayer and not receive answers. It is when faith is in place that answers are secured. Make no mistake, not every prayer is answered. Only the prayer offered in faith guarantees an answer. There are many people that offer prayers but never receive answers. Those who offer prayers and receive answers do it by faith. In the book of Mark chapter 11 and verse 24, the Bible says, whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, Believe that you receive them, and as a result of that faith, you shall have them. So it takes 
the force of faith to take delivery of any subject of prayer. Therefore, the charge is simple. Don't just invest in prayer. Invest in faith. It will empower your prayer. It takes faith-based prayers to secure answers. And we must begin to understand what it takes, therefore, to load our prayers with faith. How can I make the most of my prayer altar? How can I position myself to enjoy faith on the altar of prayer? We're going to look at just one key here this morning before we pray. And that is, we can access the deep things of God that builds our faith through praying in the Spirit. We can access the deep things of God which builds our faith by praying in the spirit. Let's recognize that the only raw material that faith recognizes is a word from God. Romans 10, 17, now faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So a word from God is the fuel of faith. And to get these deep things from God, we can engage in praying in the spirit. Jude verse 20 says, building up yourself upon your most holy faith, how? Praying in the Holy Ghost. So by praying in the Spirit, we build our faith. And how does that take place? 1 Corinthians 2 verse 10, it said, but his Spirit shall reveal them unto us. For his Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. He said, if you check it all the way down to verse, from verse 12 to verse 14, it tells us, he said, we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is from God, that we may be able to know the things that are freely given to us. He said, which things we also teach, not in the wisdom which man given, but in the wisdom that the Holy Ghost gives, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. For the natural man cannot receive the things of the Spirit of God, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. It takes the Holy Ghost to unlock certain things that will stabilize your faith. So when we pray in the Spirit, we are connecting to that which stabilizes our faith. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. That's why when we pray, we pray in the Spirit and we pray in our understanding. What are we doing? We are securing the stability of our faith to take delivery of that which we are calling on God for. Shout hallelujah. So it takes engagement of the force of faith in this dimension to make the most of our journey. So when you are praying in the Spirit, you are connecting to heaven. You are seeking that which will stabilize your faith because faith is not assumed. It's not, oh, I believe God. I believe God. Just claiming to believe God does not equal faith. Faith must be based on a word from God, an interpretation of the truth from God that stabilizes your confidence concerning that which you are seeking God for. Shout hallelujah. So you and I must recognize that by praying in the spirit, we are able to gain access to the deep things of God. John chapter 16, verse 13 and 14. The Bible said, when the spirit of truth comes, it will guide you into all truth. He said, he will not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear of me, that will he speak. He will show you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will receive of mine. He will show it unto you. He will open it to you. In verse 12 of that scripture, he said, I have many things I want to say to you, but you can't handle them yet. But when this spirit of truth comes, he will now begin to open it up. 1 John 2, 20 and verse 27, he said, you have an unction that from the Holy One that no man need to teach you anything. But while you are there seeking help from heaven, he said, that unction teaches you all things. It opens to you the mysteries of God that will stabilize your faith for delivery. This morning, even as you are praying, faith will be generated. Is somebody getting what God is saying? That is, you take the prayer point. Now, in the name of Jesus, you present that prayer point to him. And in the name of Jesus, now as I pray in the spirit, deepen my faith on this subject. And inside the five minutes, not only are you praying the prayer, you are acquiring additional faith to deliver the content of the prayer. So that the prayer point is not engaged in futility. That's why we pray in the spirit. My prayer for each one of us here this morning is that via this encounter we're having, no one will pray in futility again in the name of Jesus. Somebody believe it, say loud, amen. I said, somebody believe it, say loud, amen. 
Therefore, we must recognize the prayer of faith is the prayer that works. God will only give us the heathen that we demand for in prayers. So, that's why we're praying this morning. We're asking him, Lord, give us the heathen for an inheritance. All the souls, you have said all souls are mine. They must be given to you. They must submit their lives to you. They must be found in church. They must be planted and rooted. They must not depart. They must have their encounters. We are simply play, praying in line with the will of God. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 2 verse 8, it said, ask of me and I will give you the heathen. So it must be asked for and asked in faith. And God guarantees that you and I will seek your answers. This morning, every subject we present in prayer shall return with answers. Somebody believe it, say loud, amen. I said somebody believe it, say loud, amen. Will you rise on your feet right now? And you are going to pray, Jesus, this morning, every point I pray, each one of them must deliver. It must deliver. This must be the labor room of delivery for every subject of prayer. Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. This morning, Lord, every subject I put upon the altar of prayer must deliver, must deliver, must deliver. Remember, pray that prayer in your understanding, but pray it in the spirit to deepen the depth of your understanding and energize your faith for delivery. Mekusha katamando robodia lekozizi ketomana embrano patada ekumana katasusa elegeno manando parakano shatelia ekopeno panande lekredi katata elegenoma katasusia parados elembara kanatos every subject I push must deliver this morning a managadakusha a brenu sakatano peria barada a canon telecledia even as I pray multitudes must be born a kabarakanusete imbranonto suke pola a kledu kapana meko zaga taba imbrano katuza bara my engagement must count on high leko rabanatos in Benekelo, Pandore, Predia, Matosusi, Kenya. As I pray, chains must be broken. Liko Shaka Tamodia, Embano Shata, Igano Patalo, Penos, Iketelia Kanava. As I cry this morning, communities must be set free, territories must be taken. Erabana Koshade, Kelubaradia, Embontenenke, Susade, Imbrandoro Bokoshikata. In Pembia Katata, as I pray, the voice and the sound of the Spirit must be heard by the lost, thereby causing them to rush in. Ilaganatula Barakoshadia, lift up your hand to heaven now and give God the glory. Father, thank you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Your prayers shall deliver. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated. Is my new done era? Very shortly we shall be rising up to pray. And when we rise, we shall be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the Holy Ghost, empower every winner for continuity in the pursuit of the salvation of souls to the point of rewards, all through Operation 615. Your email can be louder. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. With this understanding, let us rise up on our feet as we engage our heart before the Lord and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the Holy Ghost, empower every winner for continuity in the pursuit of the salvation of souls to the point of reward. All through Operation 615. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the Holy Ghost, empower every winner for continuity in the pursuit of the salvation of souls to the point of rewards. All through Operation 615. Let God hear your voice. Engage with faith in your heart. Pray aloud unto him. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Ghost, empower every winner for continuity in the pursuit of the salvation of souls to the point of rewards. All true oppression 615 in the mighty name of Jesus. His word says, He that endureth to the end shall be saved. Father, we ask that you empower every winner for continuity. In the mighty name of Jesus, empower every winner for continuity. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say no to willingness. In the mighty name of Jesus, no one shall be discouraged. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let every winner be empowered for continuity. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, empower every winner for continuity. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the pursuit of the salvation of souls, to the point of reward, all true oppression 615. Let God hear your voice. Pray with faith. Engage fervently. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the Holy Ghost, empower every winner for continuity in the pursuit of the salvation of souls to the point of rewards. All true oppression 615. In the mighty name of Jesus. You say, Yea, a day that have continued with me, I will appoint a kingdom unto you. Lord, let it be the portion of every winner. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you empower every winner for continuity. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you empower every winner for continuity. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the pursuit of the salvation of souls, to the point of reward, all through oppression 615. In the mighty name of Jesus, Paul says, having obtained help from God, he says, I continue unto this day. Father, let be the portion of every winner. In the mighty name of Jesus, engage in the Holy Ghost. Nero kete liagraba, mele koto sekete, liragraba, male koto sekete, li kutuzi, male kate liagraba, mele koto sekete kete, nakata, le rokete, li kutuzia, male koto sekete, li ketezi, male kalia, makoto sekete, li ketezeta liagraba, makoto sekete kete kete, give him glory, celebrate his name. He has answered us again. Thank you and thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Put us together for Jesus and please, you may be seated. It is my new dawn era. Again, we shall be saying, Father, by the blood of Jesus, let every contact made in our outreaches all through Operation 615 Surrender to Christ and be compelled to settle down in this church for life. Amen. Book of Zechariah chapter 9, 11 to 12, scripture says, As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit, wherein is no water. Turn ye to your stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double Unto thee. Shall we please be upstanding right now and go to God in prayer, engage in the blood of Jesus for the total surrender of every contact made in our outreaches. Father, by the blood of Jesus Christ, let every contact made in our outreaches all through Operation 615 surrender to Christ and be compelled to settle down in this church for life. Let every contact we make as we go out, everyone we speak to, man or 
woman, let them surrender. Let there be a complete, total, absolute surrender to Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. No one will have the opportunity to think about it, uh, to say, come again, as we speak to them, let there be total surrender by the instrument of the blood of Jesus. Let there be total surrender to Christ. Uh, and Lord, let them be compelled to come to this church and settle down. Let them tabernacle here with us for life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if somebody pray in this prayer, pray with faith and fervency. Let the Lord hear your voice. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let every contact made all through Operation 615, every contact made in our outreaches be blood compelled to settle down here. They shall surrender and they are coming, they are coming. Entire families, entire households, entire neighborhoods, they are coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be total surrender to Jesus. Let there be total surrender to Christ. Let there be total surrender to Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood, by the blood, we decree total surrender in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone in the valley of decision, as we contact them, as we speak to them, immediately the surrender, the surrender, the surrender. Men, women, children, young and old, total surrender. And let them be compelled to come here and settle down for life in the mighty name of Jesus. Even those who have vowed never to come here, they are running down. They are running down. They are running down. Even those that are tearing Bibles, they are running down. They are running down. They are coming with everyone in their families, with everyone in their homes. They are coming, picking down the power of this prayer in the language of the Holy Ghost. Father, let them surrender. In the name of Jesus, all our contacts, everyone we have spoken to, let them surrender and let them tabernacle here. Let them come with their entire households. Let them run. Let there be a rush to safety. Let there be a rush to salvation. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. They are running down. They are running down. They are surrendering. Matalaba. Matolebe. Gezetelema. Ha. Metokadaba. My father, we give you thanks. Begin to give you thanks. Begin to give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shall we please be seated? It's my need on error. The rising of the praise, saying, Father. In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented multitudes into this church this harvest season. Numbers chapter 11 and verse 31, and there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea and let them fall round about the camp. Let's bring our feet this morning as we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church this harvest season. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church this harvest season. Somebody raise your voice as we intercede in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church this harvest season. In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind. Raise your voice as you pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. Let the Holy Ghost come down 
as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church. This harvest is we pray in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind all across our harvest field. Come down as a mighty rushing wind all across our harvest field. Rushing in multitudes unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind drafting in unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church. This harvest is in race. Your voice as you pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the Holy Ghost, the Lord of the harvest, come down as a mighty rushing wind all across the harvest field, rushing in, drafting in, unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church, this harvest season, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind in the name of Jesus Christ. And as a result, multitudes, unprecedented and abiding multitudes, shall flow into this church according to your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind drafting unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church. This have a season. We pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody engage from the depth of your heart. Let God hear your voice as we intercede in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the Holy Ghost Come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church. This harvest season, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting in unprecedented and abiding multitudes in the name of Jesus Christ. We see them flowing in. We see them rushing in by the rushing mighty wind of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting in unprecedented and abiding multitudes into this church. This harvest season in Alo Sapra, Egalo, Branianlo, Sati, in Katangra, Lo Sati, Membraleto Zolom, Lambranena Liara. Somebody engage in the spirit of the prayer. Likapro, Lianani. Susale Pradia, La Rose, Shariane, Mengalo, Zambranengala, and Lanando Zotoria, Lepra Lando Sia, E Catalega, Limbralo Sia, Eliano, Surya Lamana, Mambralea Rosa, E Caleria, Linda Rosoria, the mighty Russian wind of the Holy Ghost, drafting in on the President and abiding multitudes into this church. This have a season, Laroi, Membra, E La Rosi Cata, Leria La Rosa, Embalia La Ro, Licambra. Linso Solia, Lantarelli Alano, Silarana, Licararosi Alare, Liprano, Sia, La Barane Alosa, Enelia. Give him thanks. I appreciate him. Thank you, mighty God in Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. Let's have our seats as we thank God for Jesus. It is my new dawn era. In a moment, we shall be upstanding again praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling the influx of abiding multitudes into this church, all through Operation 615. Matthew 13, 39, the word says, the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers of the harvest are the angels. Rise unto your feet with me, and let's begin to call on the almighty God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling the influx of abiding multitudes into this church, Faith Tabernacle, Canaan Land, Otter, all through Operation 615, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh God, our Heavenly Father, hear our call and cry this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling 
the influx of abiding multitudes into this church all through Operation 615 in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remember the word of the Lord. He says we shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. So with confidence and absolute trust in him, call. He should that decree. He should that decree this morning. We decree in the name of Jesus Christ the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, to the streets and lanes of the city of Lagos. Let them penetrate into communities, hamlets, and villages and begin to gather, to gather abiding multitudes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, compelling the influx of abiding multitudes, men and women, young and old, boys and girls, into this church all through operation 615. Are you praying this morning? Pray with confidence. Call unto him with trust, absolute trust in him, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our God and our Heavenly Father. We decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges. Oh God, compelling the influx of abiding, unprecedented multitudes into this church all through oppression 615 in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ said we have that privilege to call on the almighty God and he will release unto us legions, legions of angels. That is our confidence this morning. That is our boldness this morning with absolute trust in him and faith, believing that he will do it. Cry, cry, cry unto him. He should this decree with boldness for the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges of the city of Lagos. Otter, Songo, and Everons compelling the influence of abiding multitudes into this church all through Operation 615. Are you praying? Pray some more, pray some more. Let the heavens hear your voice this morning. Call on the Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our God and our Heavenly Father. We decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges compelling the influence of abiding multitudes into this church all through Operation 615. In the precious name of Jesus, let's begin to pray this morning in the language of the Holy Spirit. Eziza, kata, le blaka to diambla de ketezia, reka zunza, zumble gedo yakata, la zian de beduza, ekekelia, askatonda, abloketo dibla de yakata zia, rekekelianda blado, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges compelling the influx of abiding multitudes into this church all through operation 615 in the name of Jesus le kato bladia bradozia le kesketozini aye katayanda blado lift up your hand and give glory glory and honor to him he is a prayer answering God thank you almighty God in Jesus precious name we have prayed. Give the Lord a big hand this morning and let's celebrate him in praise. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper.
We may be seated. Shortly we'll be rising up to pray, and when we do, we shall be praying, Father, by the Holy Ghost, grant every winner on the harvest field supernatural utterance that will prick the heart of every unsaved soul unto repentance all through Operation 615. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 37 and 38, it says, When they had heard this, they were pricked in their hearts. And they said unto Peter and to the rest of them, Men and brethren, what shall we do? And then Peter ministered to them. Let's rise up on our feet, lift up our voice, and begin to pray in the name of Jesus by the Holy Ghost. Father, by the Holy Ghost, grant every winner on the harvest field supernatural utterance that will prick the heart of every unsaved soul unto repentance. Repentance all through Operation 615. Lift up your voice and cry unto the Lord. Lift up your voice and call upon your Father. By the Holy Ghost, grant every winner on the harvest field right now in the coming hours. Lord, grant them supernatural utterance that will break the heart of every unsaved soul. The moment they lift up their voice to speak to them, let their hearts be touched. Let their heart be pricked. Every word of their mouth be supernatural. Let the words of the mouth of every one on the harvest field be packed full with power packed full with power Lord grant every winner on the harvest field supernatural utterance supernatural utterance supernatural utterance that will break the heart of every unsaved soul unto repentance all through operation 615 Lord grant every winner on the harvest field supernatural utterance lift up your voice and call upon your father cry unto him the word of God says that we should pray for laborers. Let's begin to pray for laborers that as they go out, their words will be filled with power. Their words will be quick. Their words will be sharp. Their words will be powerful. Just like the word of God that is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Let their words be as sharp as a two-edged sword. Piercing into the hearts of men and women. Piercing into the hearts of young and old. Let it prick every one that will hear the word every unsaved soul unto repentance let it break the heart unto repentance let it touch the heart unto repentance let them cry just like they cried in acts of the apostles men and brethren what shall i do men and brethren what shall we do let them cry in the same manner lord as your word goes forth through the mouth of every winner on the harvest field let it break the heart. Let it touch the heart. Let it press the heart. Let it penetrate through the heart. The hardened heart. Let it be touched. The hardened heart. Let it be touched. Lift up your voice and call upon God. We ask today that Lord, you will grant every winner on the harvest field supernatural utterance. Are you praying at all? Are you calling on your father? Are you lifting up your voice? You to be heard in heaven. Lift up your voice and cry unto the Lord. Grant every winner on the harvest field supernatural, unusual, uncommon utterance that as they speak, they meet the very need of the unsaved soul. They will go to that thing that is worrying and disturbing them and will pierce their heart and they will surrender unto the Lordship of Jesus. As they call, Lord, they will call upon the name of the Lord and they will Will all be saved. Lift up your voice and call upon him. Now begin to push those prayer into the finish line as you're praying the Holy Ghost. Charge this prayer. Begin to wave your hands unto the Father. Thank Him for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please, you may be seated as you put your hands together. It is my new dawn era. In a moment, we shall be upstanding to pray in this dimension. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
release your reaper angels to take over our harvest field all through Operation 615, appearing to all unsaved in visions, revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Acts chapter 10, verses 3, 34, and 35, paraphrased. This was an account of how the angel of God appeared to Cornelius. And Peter made a profound statement saying of a truth God is not respecter of persons. But in every nation, he that fear him and walk in righteousness is accepted with him. In the light of this, shall we upstanding and begin to cry unto him. Father, in the name of Jesus, release your reaper angels to take over our harvest field all through Operation 615, appearing to all the unsaved in visions and revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation. Our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, release your reaper angels to take over our harvest field all through Operation 615, appearing to all the unsaved in visions and revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation. Brethren, lift up your voice. Let's pray in one intent and purpose as one man, crying unto our Father and our God, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, release your reaper angels to take over our harvest field all through Operation 615, appearing to all the unsaved in visions and revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation. Let's pray a prayer that must be answered. Ensure that we are engaging your heart. Pray a prayer, a faith-filled prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, release your reaper angels to take over our harvest field all through Operation 615, appearing to all the unsaved in visions and revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation. Angels of God, we know that you hearken to the voice of the word of God. Therefore, move to the highways, to the hedges, to all new and crannies of Lagos State, Utah, and the environs, appearing to everyone saved in dreams of night, in visions, in revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation and breakthrough. Angels of God, you excel in strength. You have what it takes to draft even the whole world to this church. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we command that you move now to the highways, to all our harvest field, all appearing to everyone saved in visions and revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation and breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice, Ensure that you are engaging your heart. Pray a prayer that must be answered. Pray a faith-filled prayer. That's the prayer that God answers. Father, in the name of Jesus, release your reaper angels to take over our harvest field all through Operation 615, appearing to all unsaved in visions and revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation. Our Father and our God, Angels are the pastor soul. Therefore, we cry unto you that you release them to all new and crannies of Lagos State, Utah, and the environs, appearing to everyone saved in visions and revelations, thereby drafting them into this church for their salvation and breakthrough. Brethren, let's now power this prayer in the Holy Ghost by praying in the Spirit. Maran take care and Osomoko. O Bramande, Shambayara no Somokora Sakaranama. O Bramande, Shambayara no Somokora Sakaranama. O Marande, Shambayara no Bo. Rante, Rake, Make, Shambayara no Bo. Epikaizo, Rabababa, Rante, Kara no Somoko. O Bramande, Yara no Somokora Sakaranama. O Marante, Kara no Somokora Sakaranama. O Bramande, Shamba ya rando somo kora sakaranama, marante ya rando somo kora sakaranama, o marande lede ya rando somo ko, rampate ya rando somo kora sakaranama. Lift up your hands and begin to appreciate Him for answer prayers. Father, we say thank you, thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Please put your hands together while you take your seats. It's my new dawn era. Shortly we'll be rising to pray, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
We decree null and void every operation of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to the ingathering of abiding multitudes this harvest season. Amen. Amen. In Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9 and 10, the Bible says, Associate yourselves together, O ye people, ye shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, it shall come to naught, for God is with us. Rise on your feet with me this morning. Lift up your voice saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree null and void every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to the ingathering of abiding multitudes this harvest season. Is somebody praying this morning? Lift up your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree null and void every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church. Don't forget the Bible says, if two of you shall agree as touching anything, lift up your voice in agreement. Let's decree, let's place an injunction against the oppression of principalities and powers, saying, we decree it null and void. We empty it. It shall come to naught. It shall not stand. Lift up your voice this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by the authority of scripture to decree null and void every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church. We say it shall not happen. We blow it away like the air before the wind. Father, this morning, we lift up our voice in the name of Jesus to agree that every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church, it shall not see the light of day. Is somebody praying? Pray this morning. Lift up your voice. Don't forget the Bible says he has made us his battle axes and the weapons of war. So let's pray. Let's war against all oppressions of principalities and power. It shall not happen. Whatever they do, wherever they gather, whoever is their support, we blow them away. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray this morning. Pray intensely. Pray believing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree null and void every oppression of principalities and powers against the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to the ingathering of abiding multitudes this Sabbath season. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says you're disappointed the devices of the crafting, disappointed so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. This morning, we ask that every such device against the continuous growth of this church be disappointed. Be blown away like chaff before the wind. Let it not see the light of day. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Place a decree. Every oppression, wherever they are doing it, it shall not see the light of day. We decree not. We nullify it. We neutralize the powers behind it. We say it is void. We empty it. In the name of Jesus, we declare it's aborted. It will not hatch. It will not see the light of day. Lift up your voice. In the name of Jesus, thereby leading to the ingathering of abiding multitudes, they have a season. Jesus says, other sheep have I that are not of this food yet. Let's begin to call them in. Let's begin to call them in. Have not destroyed the forces of hell that is holding them down. Have not destroyed the confusion that the enemy is throwing in the air. Now, let's begin to call them down. Let's call it other sheep of this fold that are not here yet. Father, we call them in. We call them in. We call them in because God is for us. We call them in because God is for us. Let the hand of God begin to draw them. Let the hand of God begin to draw them. Now power your prayer in the spirit. Zekata halege, rato malazge, rato melekus, maradi ali, baranto, mezese kataluriada, reketeluzia, rapalande, matalagoske, ratuliaba, repapaleske, ratuli baskata, retelegescuda, radna makatolia, repalondo, landele doscura, retalazgo, retalago, rapalanske, rapoles cataliado, Lift up your hands to heaven. Let's celebrate him. He is faithful. Thank you, Father, for hearing us and us. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. It's my new dawn era. 
It shall be praying. Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, we decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land, resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership all through Operation 615. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 12, he said, I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Please rise as we lift our voice, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land, resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership, all through Operation 615. Somebody pray violently this morning, saying, Father, by the blood of Jesus, we decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land. We decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land, resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership all through Operation 615. Somebody lift your voice this morning. Let God hear you today. Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, we decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land. Your word says you will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt. Therefore, Father, we decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land, all the gods of water, all the gods of Songo, all the gods of the environment. We release vengeance upon them today. Every gods of the land resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership all through Operation 615. Somebody pray this prayer intensely. Pray the prayer that must be answered, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, we decree vengeance upon the gods of the land. We decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land, resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership all through Operation 615. Execute the judgment that is written, O God. Execute the judgment that is written upon all the gods of the land, resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership all through Operation 615. Somebody lift your voice this morning and pray intensely. Pray violently this morning. Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, we decree vengeance. You say, vengeance is mine. Therefore, Father, we decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land, resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership all through Operation 615. You say, vengeance is mine. Therefore, God of vengeance, show yourself upon all the gods of the land, resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership all through Operation 615. Somebody pray intensely. Don't pray silently. Pray, let God hear you. Saying, Father, in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, we decree vengeance. We decree vengeance upon all the gods of the land, resisting the continuous growth of this church, thereby leading to supernatural multiplication of membership. All through operation 615. Let's power the prayer in the Holy Ghost now. Lady Akata Penana Nasusia Keta Abade de Dialikota and Brato Siake Panina Lerushata Banana Ekeke Nuta Panani Ketosia Arida Potono Nodosia and Gekatelege Minano Tiakatala Pele 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 Ketedia Radanda Danda Ruateke Abadam Beriala Tatuja Emberiale Kede Shata Abade Ketini Libraco Sizia, a panelia tuna, a bekeli banana mani, la roshen dambara, redian de clepinana, begin to thank him. Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Father, we thank you. Receive all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's celebrate him now. 
Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. My Jesus conquers Satan. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
era. Next, we'll be rising up to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, invade all our services with notable miracles, thereby drafting record-breaking and abiding multitude into this church all through Operation 615. Amen. Acts chapter 4 and verse 16, the leaders of people, the Sadducees, have this question to ask. Say, what shall we do to these men? For indeed, a notable miracle has been done by them. It's manifest to all that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it. With this understanding, rise on your feet and pray with everything in you, asking God to invade all our services with notable miracles, thereby drafting record breaking and abiding multitude into this church all through Operation 615. Father, we ask of you in the mighty name of Jesus, invade all our services, Lord, with notable miracles, their miracles, thereby drafting record breaking and abiding multitudes into this church faith sabbatical all through Operation 615. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, we ask of you in the name of Jesus Christ, invade all our services, O Lord, with notable miracles. Thereby drafting record breaking law and abide the multitude into this church all through Operation 615 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The kind of miracle of Father that will draw men unto Christ, the kind of miracle that cannot be denied, the kind of miracle that cannot be pushed over, Lord, Father, Lord. Invade all our services with such in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Invade all our services, Lord. Midweek service on the Father, Sunday services, Lord. Our WSF platform, Lord. Invade every of our program, our services, Lord. With notable miracles, Lord. They are by drafting record breaking and abiding multitude into this church all through Operation 615 in the mighty in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the kind of miracle, Lord Father, that we have never seen before, Father, begin to happen, Lord Father, in our services, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the lay walk, Lord Father, in every of our services, Lord. Let the blind see, Lord Father, every challenges of life, Lord Father, let them be terminated, Lord Father, in all our services, Lord. In faith, all our services, Lord Father, with notable miracles, thereby drafting record breaking and abide the multitude into this church all through Operation 615 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cry unto the Lord, cry unto the Lord. He said, ask and it shall be given unto you. If you can ask him, he will grant it unto us. Let us ask in faith. Let us ask believing that God is answering us, asking him that Father should in faith all our services with notable miracles, thereby drafting record of breaking and abiding the multitude into this church, faith tabernacle, all through Operation 615. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let all our services be fed at all our Father with notable miracles, undeniable miracles, undeniable miracles, Lord. The art of the law must be seen in this church, in every of our services, Lord. In fed all our services, Almighty Father, with notable miracles, all through Operation 615, all our Father, drawing multitude, record breaking and abiding multitude into this church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Merua Shaten Loka Baroche and the Lake Ria Kusataria, Matento Rakasa Kato Ria Keteri, Meta Tuta Rasia and Doleke Rosha Taleba, my God and my Father, Letera, Meresha, Lia Kosi, the Leko Ria Kasasia Laba, my Galosha Talaba Rosheteria, Maroche Rushe, Merushe, Merushe, Mary Kesekateria, Evade, all our services, Almighty Father, Law with notable miracles, Lord Father. They are my love for the draft the record breaking and abide the multitude into this church all through oppression. Six one five in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mera Shatolia Karu Shatea. Thank you, Almighty Father. Glory be unto your name, Almighty God. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's have our seat as we put our hands together for you. It's my new dawn era. 
Shortly again, we shall rise up to pray. And this time around, we shall be praying, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, silence all evil counselors, manipulating our new converts from being established in this church, and let the effect be seen all through Operation 615. In Exodus chapter 11, verse 1, God speaking, he said, And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and Egypt, and thereafter they will let my people go. Let's rise up on our feet as we lift up our voice and pray that prayer, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, silent all evil counselors, manipulating our new converts from being established in this church and let the effect be seen all through Operation 615. Father, by the power in the name of Jesus, silence all evil counselors manipulating our new converts from being established in this church and let the effect be seen all through Operation 615. Are you praying that prayer? Father, by the power in the name of Jesus, silence all evil counselors manipulating our new converts. Father, from being established in this church and let the effect be seen all through Operation 615 in the name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Lift up your prayer voice and pray fervently and pray in faith. Pray confident in God that Father, in the name of Jesus, silence all evil counselors, manipulating our new converts from being established in this church. Oh God, and let it, let it, oh God, the effect be seen all through Operation 615. Let the effect be seen all through Operation 615 in the name of Jesus. Are you praying that prayer? Lift up your voice. Let heaven hear the voice of our intercession, interceding in faith, calling upon the name of the Lord that answers prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, silent all evil counselors, manipulating our new converts from being established in this church and let the effect be seen all through Operation 615. Everyone, oh God, telling the people not to come because of distance. We're telling the people that here yeah, they won't know you. Father, we silence them. Any manipulators of the counselors, oh God, standing manipulating our newcomers from being established in this church. Let Oh God, let them be silent. We silence them. We silence them. We silence them. We silence them. And let the effect be seen all through Operation 615. Mighty Jehovah, the same way God said unto Moses, the remain, yet I will send another plague upon Pharaoh and the Egyptian. Father, send a plague upon every manipulators, every counselors manipulating our new converts from being established in this church. Oh God, we ask, send your plague upon their lives by silencing them, silencing them, silencing them, silencing them, silencing them. Is somebody praying that warfare prayer? Are you praying that warfare prayer? Lift up your voice. Let heaven hear you pray. Why not push the prayer in the language of the Spirit? Push the prayer in the language of the Holy Ghost. Recrotosha, e parado, e zekatia, e rototo, e kata, a brodosia, e calando, e brodosha galada, e crete, a barado, e zante, a lia, a rakato, e cretosia, marado, a la parando, e cabarade shagada. Father, we thank you, Jesus. We give you praise because you answer prayer. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Thank you, Jesus, for answers to our prayers. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus and take your seat. It's man you don't error. Uh, we will next be praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the reaper angels pursue every one in possession of our tracks and flyers, compelling them to be in this church for their salvation and establishment in the faith this coming Sunday. Amen. Ezra chapter 23, 
verse 20, God speaking, he said, Behold, I will send an angel to go before you to guide you in the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared for you. Let's bend our feet now as we begin to pray this prayer with faith and fervency in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, let the reaper angels pursue everyone in possession of our tracks and flyers, compelling them to be in this church for their salvation and establishment in the faith at this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying right now. Someone is praying right now. Let the Lord hear your voice as you pray with faith and pray with fervency, praying in the name of Jesus Christ with confidence. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the reaper angels pursue everyone in possession of our tracks and flyers, compelling them to be in this church for their salvation and establishment of the faith this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray this prayer with faith. A prayer with fervency. Let God hear your voice as you pray audibly, confidently. Yes, someone is praying right now. Someone is praying right now. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray fervently. Pray confidently. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the reaper angels pursue everyone in possession of our tracks and flyers, compelling them to be in this church for their salvation and establishment of the faith this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. They are coming from Lagos or Tandia Virons in the faith tabernacle this coming Sunday because they have their, our tracks, they have their flyers in their possession, so they are coming. They are coming. The angels are after them right now as you pray fervently, pray in faith, pray in faith with expectation. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Pray some more. Pray some more with faith. With faith. With fervency in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let the reaper angels pursue everyone in possession of our tracks and flyers compelling them to be in this church for their salvation and establishment in the faith this coming Sunday in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of them, they are all coming, they are racing down, they are flowing in in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray fervently, pray fervently, pray fervently, pray confidently. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray audibly, confidently. Yes, someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Let the Lord hear your voice. Everyone, everywhere, let's pray with faith. Let's pray with faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the reaper angels pursue everyone in position of our trust and flyers, compelling them to be in this church for their salvation and establishment in the faith this coming Sunday, they are all coming in the name of Jesus Christ. If you can see them coming, you will pray fervently. You will pray with expectation, praying fervently, confidently in the name of Jesus. Someone is still praying. Someone is still praying. Someone is still praying. Pray some more. Pray some more. Pray some more. Now with faith. Now let's also pray in the Holy Ghost. Le rouge erotiado prado zizorale yeketozi alesha. Em brabarate clotazo, yadish elo, prado zaze, neosh alo pradozia, e glarada, yato prado, e redish eloto pradolia, e zaze, neko taloba, o rade shaga, e yeto prado, e zizo radish elo palodi, neke te kletozia, radishaba, leketano, em brabe, yetozia, letando, e glero balade, e elo shate kletozi. Wade shagalate brekotano zizorade in pratozi nelish elopalo in klete palade wade shage redozaze in tabalo leko sande yadish elo pretozaze in brabe ratos kanatali ye derodia ye prades e klotalo sade walish elopalo taze now give God thanks O celebrate him and give her the glory Father we thank you we magnify your name, and in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Give it a little big hand, and please take your seat. A 
It is my new dawn era. In a moment, we are going to rise to pray, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the average attendance of this church as at the takeoff of Operation 615 be minimum double come July 8, 2018, in fulfillment of this prophetic agenda. Amen. Say loud, amen. amen. Isaiah 14, 24, it says, Surely as I've, as I've thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have proposed, so shall it stand. Shall we rise on our feet, lift your voice, and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the average attendance of this church as at the takeoff of Operation 615 be minimum double, minimum double. Come July 8, 2018, in fulfillment of this prophetic agenda, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we are calling upon you, Father, we are decreeing. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the average attendance of this church as at the takeoff of Operation 615 be minimum double. Come July 8, 2018, in fulfillment of this prophetic agenda, you are the multiplier. You said, I will multiply and they shall not be few. You said, Lord, that you are able to multiply us a thousand, much, a thousand times much more than we are. Your capacity is unlimited. Therefore, we anchor upon the reality of the fact that with you there is nothing that is impossible. We ask, oh Lord, let this charge be minimum double. The average attendance as at the takeoff of Operation 615 Come July 8, 2018 in fulfillment of this prophetic agenda in the name of Jesus. That which your mouth has spoken, let your hand go forth into performance. Lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Let God hear the voice of your intercession. Cry aloud unto him that performed all things for, him, for us. He said, now to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly. Above all, we can ask or think. Now begin to specifically make demand. In the name of Jesus, let this church, Lord, be minimum double the average attendance. Lord, as at the takeoff of Operation 615, come July 8, 2018, in fulfillment of this prophetic agenda. You have said, oh Lord, that which you spoke with your mouth, your own hand went on to perform it. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we make demands. You have spoken, oh Lord, and declared that this operation is for the multiplication of your church. And you said, I, the God of wonder, double. I mean, you're missed. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we declare and declare, Father, let the average attendance of this church as at the takeoff of Operation 615 be minimum double come July 8, 2018 in fulfillment of this prophetic agenda. Are you praying? Pray with your heart. Pray with your faith. Pray with your confidence. Let God hear the voice of your intercession. Cry aloud. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the average attendance of this church as at the takeoff of Operation 615 be minimum double, minimum double, minimum double. Come July 8, 2018, in fulfillment of this prophetic agenda in the name of Jesus. Why not push the prayer in the Holy Ghost now? Mekota parada la kashatiata em banando rebedia le koshata em banombe reketosia le katano le katano em brano tala kalia la koshada e komenderia la to senemia aponebedia kata alo manande li kashoda e mananteria e komenderia atomento atomento paria le kosada abanante lia le copre de che no sharaba la prandoro bo se keriaba le crede che to si angaraba e mananto ze keria la copene la copene e rosha telia marata lift up your hand to heaven give god the glory father thank you in jesus precious name we have prayed let's celebrate him in praise the Lord has answered my prayers, He has heard me already. The Lord has answered my prayers, He has heard me already. The Lord has answered my prayers, He has heard me already. The Lord has answered my prayers, He has heard me already. The Lord has answered my prayers, there is no need to worry.
lift your hand to heaven and give God thanks this morning. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Celebrate him. Our God is faithful. He's worthy to be praised. Thank him from the depth of your heart. Give him the glory that is due unto his name. Celebrate him. Jesus, we thank you this morning for answers. Thank you this morning for the effect of this prayer. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. We celebrate your faithfulness. You are worthy, Lord, to be praised and to be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we have come to give you thanks. Because all that we have asked of you, you have answered and granted to us. We give you the praise and the glory. For everyone's engagement, Lord, let the decoration of this hour reflect on every life. May no one here miss their own portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody believes a loud amen. Be reminded, we have our evening raid session, 5 to 7 p.m. Take advantage and be blessed. Let's share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Before we share our covenant exchange, be reminded you have your list of converts and contacts. Ensure it is dropped by the camera stand here and every location will tell you when you should drop them. Be blessed in Jesus' name. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen nor ears heard shall become the order of the day in my life this year. Congratulations, amen and amen. July 8, 2018 is a reality. Congratulations. Congratulations somebody with it and be blessed.